Career win number 56, championship number two. Kyle Busch scores the win here at the Homestead Miami Speedway. Here at Homestead Miami with champion, two-time champion Kyle Busch. Kyle, uh, t what are the emotions like? Not only having one, but backing it up and having two. You know, you and Jimmy Johnson, the only guys in the field now with, with more than one. Yeah, it's uh, pretty remarkable. I mean, the, the feeling is just uh, such excitement and such relief as well, too. You know, when you take that white flag and you're coming around for the final lap and tears are rolling out of your eyes, it's emotional, you know, and, and being able, this is what I live for, this is what I do, this is how much work I put in and everything and, and the family sacrifices and all the things that all the team has to sacrifice as well too, and to be able to reward all of them and, and their families is, is what it's all about. When I play the game. Statistic, I'm not sure if you know the stat or not, but 22 races since you uh, won coming into this race. I'm sure you know that stat. Um, you're the gold standard in this sport. People expect you to win every single weekend. Is that a burden and, and what does it feel like to come here and deliver when a lot of people thought you were the underdog at a, at a track you'd won at before? Yeah, I mean, it is a little bit of a burden when, when you're not able to, to win every week, you know, and the longer that number gets, even at 22, is, is a big deal to people, you know. So um, I guess that just uh, is, is how successful we've been and, and we're a product of our own success, right? So um, good or bad, it's just, what we've been able to do this year, the way we fired off was really, really special and, and great. And then we didn't really do anything that anybody saw very special for the last third. And, but we saved it all for Homestead, so we came out of here with a win. You're a competitive guy. I'm sure it doesn't take long to start thinking about 2020 and, and what's to come. How long do you let yourself enjoy this? And is there something that you didn't get to enjoy and didn't get to take in from the first championship that you'll make sure you get to do this time? Hmm. Um, you know, the first time, um, Brexton was only six months old or whatever he was, and so obviously we, we won the championship, we celebrated and had a good time with him. We did some photos, um, you know, and, and whatnot, so he was in a baby onesie and whatever. We woke him up, actually. But uh, this time around, he's, he's still fired up, ready to go. He wants to get his photos done, you know, so being four and a half and the really special moment, the coolest thing was NASCAR allowing us to put him in the car and to take him for a ride around the racetrack there at the end and to roll into victory lane with my son was pretty awesome. What was what did he say to you after the race? Is there something that he said to you that, that, that sticks out that you know you don't mind sharing? Yeah, he was uh, one of the things was uh, hey dad you won the race today so does that mean you get to throw me high in the air and I'm like yes buddy it, it sure does. Overall him also just congratulating me and him and mom Samantha also being there and, and celebrating together and, and holding each other and, and it was really cool. Old two-timer out there. Proud of you, buddy. Want to stick with it. Great job, guys. People can circle you to be here just about every year in the championship round. Uh, you're 34 years old. you got a crew chief that you work well together with. How much longer can it go? I have no idea. You know, uh, Jimmy and Chad went 17 years, so hopefully uh, hopefully Adam and I can go 17, because by the time I get to 17 with Adam, I'm going to be done. So, um, you know, it, it's been a remarkable run, and, and it all picked up, and business picked up when I got Adam Stevens. And so he and I sometimes, um, you know, we, we were on the same page, and we see eye to eye on a lot of things. And then there's times where I'm like, is, is he listening to me? You know, because he's just so focused on what he's doing, you know, and he pinpoints things. and and does things in, in his way and um, it's pretty fun to, to work with a guy like that and one that's passionate about this as much as I am. You've raced for Joe Gibbs for a long time. This was set a record this year for 19 wins for an organization. Uh, Daytona 500 with Denny after losing JD. What's it like to be able to you know put the bookend on this for Coach? It's awesome. Uh, I mean, what else could you ask for, right? I mean, the, the team and the organization just did an amazing job this year. Uh, my team, the 18 team, obviously, we started out really, really strong. And the 11 and the 19 took off. The 19 took off in the middle part of the year. The 11 finished it off at the end of the year. Um, we won the, the whole deal and brought it back to Joe Gibbs Racing. So it just, um, it, it, we all work together so well, communicate so well, and, and strive for all of us to be the best. And, we elevate each other's games all day long, and I think that's what makes the strength of our company what it is. All right, Kyle Busch gets it done yet again. Second time he is a champion here at Homestead Main Speedway.